Filmmaking is expensive. A new camera, a new lens, oh, wait, a new light, a softbox. The list keeps on growing and you always need something more. Luckily for us, we're living in a very exciting time where brands conquer each other to create the best possible products for a very good price. But one thing that is often overlooked is the DIY filmmaking solution, which is still a very valuable option. So today we're trying to get very beautiful soft light on a budget. We're not using any soft boxes or grids or any of that stuff, just an IKEA curtain. So today we're checking two different configurations. The first one is a very basic and simple one by just diffusing the light by putting the sheet of diffusion in front of the light. And the second configuration is a book light. A book light is a very useful technique in which you bounce the light into a reflective material that bounces back through the diffusion and that will create a very nice soft light on your face. This technique is especially useful because you have a lot more control over the quality of light that it's producing. The amount of diffusion these curtains create really comes down on how many layers of diffusion you add in front of your lamp. Also, the further away your lamp is from the diffusion, the softer the light will be, but the more it will spill out into the room. Luckily, these curtains are quite big, so you can fold them up easily to get a double sheet of diffusion. This right here is shot through the curtain and it's double diffused. So, you know, let's check what it looks like. No diffusion, so hard light, single diffused and double diffused. As you can see, hard light is not really useful in this situation. But what you can see is that this simple fabric really does the job well. As mentioned earlier, we use one light to bounce into a piece of reflective material that bounces back through the diffusion. The great thing about using a book light in comparison to the first technique I showed is that you can use different types of reflective material. And each reflective material will give its own quality of light. For example, you can use unbleached muslin, which will give a nice warmer tone to the image. You can use the gold side of a five in one reflector. It will give like a very strong sort of like yellowish tone. You can use the silver side to use a five in one reflector. Of course, the regular white side or an ultra bounce, or you can even like bounce from a white t-shirt. The possibilities are endless and therefore it's a lot of fun to work with a book light. Soft light is a lot more appealing to the human eye and therefore it is useful in so many different situations. But if this cheaper method works, why would you want to get your hands on an expensive softbox? Well, there are a few drawbacks on this technique. The first one is that it is open, so the light will spill literally everywhere. This set right here is bright, so it doesn't really matter. But if you wanted to use this setting in a darker space, it would be a lot more difficult because the light is going anywhere. You can, of course, build some sort of a cage around it with flags and foam board and all that stuff, but I don't have that laying around and I don't think you do either. Of course, if you have a light truck standing outside of the door, do it. It's a lot of fun and you can create a lot more different things with a book light instead of, you know, your regular octagon or parabolic softbox. But still, it requires a little bit more material. If you have listened to the Team Deacons podcast every once in a while, you know that Roger Deacons likes to go out in town and search for different kinds of materials, different kinds of fabrics that he will use to bounce light from. And I think that's amazing. I think that is really cool that you can use these kinds of things, these cheaper kinds of things in cinematography. And that's why it's so fun to experiment and to try out new things. And I think you'll become a better DOP if you think outside of the box and use these kinds of techniques instead of always just putting up a soft box. Well, I think that's it for now. Hope you liked it, hope it was helpful, and um, I see you guys next Monday.